going to demonstrate how you can install a 1800 milliamp or 2100 milliamp high capacity newer technology iPod battery into a first generation iPod. I'm going to install the 2100 milliamp battery. Simply start by removing the battery from its package. It includes two tools and a manual. And you can follow along in the little manual if you would like step by step with this procedure. Start by taking the large tool and inserting it into the edge of the iPod at the corner seam like this. Now you'll notice with your iPod if you can't get the tool in you can open up a gap by holding the iPod and squeezing it and you can actually hear this popping noise that's the gap opening up and then the tool will insert. Once you've done that, work it along the edge of a seam and you will open up a gap right here. You can see the gap a little bit. Very gently work around the bottom edge, pulling upwards on the face of the iPod as you do this, and you'll remove the back completely. Turn the iPod over and gently remove the back. You'll see the original battery. This is the connector for the hard drive. And the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to separate the iPod battery from the hard drive and it's attached by two adhesive strips. Now to remove those, sometimes it does take a little bit of force. You have to force the tool underneath the edge of the battery and remo remove the battery from these rubber strips. And these rubber strips are tacky and they, they will stick themselves pretty well. Take the iPod, hold it in your hand and you'll see on the logic board connector for the battery. Simply pull very gently straight up and then take your battery and reinsert the connector you just removed the exact same way. You'll notice on the iPod's battery there is a little tab that does go in. The battery will only fit one direction and that's with the red wire up towards the end of the iPod. And then gently set the battery back centered. Press it back down on the, the rubber strips and they will glue themselves back on there as the iPod warms up. Tuck the wires in very gently in the corner so you do not pinch them. And then take the back of the iPod, set it over the iPod itself, making sure once again that you do not have pinched wires, and then work all the way around the edge, squeezing the iPod closed, and as you can see, the iPod is back in operation with a nice new battery.